Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Blue Protocol Star Resonance. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we're going to take a look on your Radian and NVIDIA Palm Reader. And at the end we will go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture, capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power. Uh, back then, uh, we were recommending to use the best performance, but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that another thing uh, i want to mention is some recommendations so make sure that your uh, xmp profile is activated if you have it on your bios super important Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your cpu if you have an amd or intel also, make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest updates from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now for NVIDIA, so as you can see, the game is not there. It's not compatible right now with the NVIDIA app. So you can't really push some, some stuff. Uh, but I'm still going to show you my uh, global setting. Normally, I always use the DLSS override and latest. So frame gen, rear reconstruction, and super resolution will always push the latest version when the game is compatible for sure. Make sure that you're using your low latency here at on. I'm locking my FPS also at 237 to make sure that I always stay in my G-Sync range. And my shader cache size, I'm using 100 because by default you're getting 5 gig and I'm installing a lot of different game on my PC. So I don't want to always recompile my shader cache. So that's why I'm going with 100. You can also use 10 if you have the disk space on your PC. In this system section, if you want to use DG Sync and you have a monitor that is compatible, go with on full screen window and make sure that you select the screen that is compatible. For your display properties, I really recommend to go native with your resolution and always make sure that you're using the maximum refresh rate. And for color, I like to put a little bit more digital vibrance at 55. You're going to get a little bit more saturation in your game. In the performance tab, I like to put the power maximum at 133%. You're going to get a little bit more wattage to your uh, GPU, so uh, your boost clock will be a little bit longer. Normally, I'm getting 5-7% to 7 boost in my FPS, but the thing is, you really need the room on your video card because NVIDIA is using an algorithm for your boost clock, so if you have bad thermals, forget about it, it doesn't change anything. But if you have a good thermals, a good GPU with a good cooler, it can help with your FPS. Now let's go with the Radiant settings. So now for Radiant card, we're going to go to settings, display first. Make sure that you're using your free sync. If you have a monitor compatible with it, you're going to make sure that you're going to synchronize your GPU with your monitor. So really important to use that. After that, we're going to go to gaming in the graphics section. Make sure that you're using the custom profile. So don't use those presets over there. Make sure that you're selecting your GPU. In my case, it's a 9070 XT. Don't use your integrate GPU. It can be tricky if you're playing on a laptop or even a desktop like me that has an integrate GPU. After that, the first one that you will need to look at is your uh, FSR 4 that you can force in some game that it's uh, using FSR 3. This one, uh, it's not necessarily everybody will have it. It really depends if your card is compatible with it. So definitely 
enable it if you have it. Also, I want to mention if you're playing in a game that uh, doesn't have FSR, doesn't have frame generation, and you're struggling with your FPS, fluent motion frame can be a nice uh, option over there. You activate it, you're going to get like 30 to 30% boost. It will add input lag, so don't use that if you're playing a competitive game, but this one can help with an uh, older game. Uh, don't use anti-lag one. This one is not good. Don't use a radiant boost. Radiant chill, I really recommend to use it. And I will explain you why. So for an example, in my case right now, I have a 170 Hertz monitor. And to stay in your free sync range, you need to be, uh, you need to produce less than 170 FPS. So my recommendation is take your amount of Hertz on your uh, monitor. In my case, it's 170. Do minus three and lock your FPS at 167. You can do the same thing if you have a 240 Hertz monitor. Go with 30, uh, 237. Uh, so you're always going to make sure that you stay in your free sync range. It's better for uh, the fluidity of your image. And also, really important, if you want less input lag, you need to make sure that your GPU is not at 100% utilization. So uh, 98, 97, something like that. So sometimes it's good to just lock your FPS. Again, it depends on the game. Maybe in some game, 160 F 67 FPS will be... 100% uh, utilization for me, so you can go maybe a little bit lower. You can also do it per game. Right now in the graphics section, I'm doing it for all my games on my computer, but sometimes, I don't know, you're playing the new Assassin's Creed, just go to Assassin's Creed, and you can lock your FPS over there if you want. So really important to do that for your uh, utilization, but also to make sure that you're staying in your free sync range. Another thing that I want to mention, image sharpening too can be nice if you don't add FSR in-game or a sharpness slider. Uh, so if you're playing an old game or a game that just have like TAA and the game is very blurry, activate this and move your slider between something 60 to 70% depending on your preference. And it will really help to have a better image quality. Last thing that I want to mention, if you have some random stuttering and you don't know why, this option at the end can be really nice. It resets your shader cache, so you just perform a reset. And after that, when you will reopen your game, it will just rebuild your shader. Sometimes it can take time, so don't go too crazy if your game is lagging, but uh, it can help. I, I saw a lot of per person uh, having this issue with Call of Duty, so this one can really help you. So this is pretty much it, guys. Make sure that you have the latest uh, version of your driver and also have a dedicated drive on uh, how to overclock your GPU. For me, it gives me 12% boost in my FPS without too much effort, so you can definitely look at my guide. So now let's go in the game. So now for the settings. So first of all, uh, in the graphic quality, I recommend to just go with custom because we're going to change everything by yourself. Shallow quality, this one uh, can be huge. You can uh, improve 3% for each bracket. So I like to go with none. If you feel that your game is too flat, go with low. Post-processing, I don't like it in this game. The game looks very blurry with it. So that's why I'm going with none and a nice 5% boost. Detail, I recommend to go with medial. Uh, character detail, not a huge uh, difference on your FPS, the middle, eye, and none, it's like 1% for each bracket. At max, you're going to lose 2 to 3, so the, my recommendation is go with eye with this one. Special effect uh, is dropping my FPS a lot, so that's why I'm going with none. For vertical sync, I deactivate it, anyway, I'm using G-Sync, so, uh, and also it adds an input lag in the game. I just put the maximum amount of FPS, 120 over there. Max player on screen, this one can tank your FPS like crazy. Don't, don't go crazy with this one. I like to put it at 15. Uh, make sure that your display, you're selecting your main display and also your native resolution. You also get uh, two uh, different uh, options over there, super resolution. So for for sure, if you have an RTX car, go with DLSS. It's They're using the DLSS uh, version 3 and you can't really push the fort right now in the game. So my recommendation is go with DLSS, Effect, or Balance. If not, just use FSR3 at Effect. You can expect 8 to 12% boost with those uh, parameters. Other effect setting, I recommend to deactivate Glow, Reflection, and Motion Blur. Keep your character outline. And for special effect setting, this is pretty much what I'm using. I like to see my enemy skill effect, my own skill, my ally skill. So... Uh, I'm doing uh, those parameters when I'm playing the game. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any question about this game, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and uh, RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.